Oh, good morning. So let us go for the second numerical. So draw the developer winding diagram with the following data. Number of coils 15, number of pulls 4, type of winding simplex retrogressive lap. Number of coil sides per slot is equal to 2. So he has given number of coils as 15. So it's a double layer winding. So number of slots will be equal to number of coils will be equal to 15. So number of coil sides or number of conductors will be equal to 2 times the slots. So that is 15. So it will be considered as 30 conductors. So now while coming to the calculation YB calculating back pitch YB is equal to Z by B plus or minus K which is equal to 30 by 4 plus or minus K. So 30 by 4 we are getting 7.5 since YB must be an odd integer so 7.5 minus 0.5 will be 7. So considering 7 as the back pitch value. Now let us go for calculating the front pitch. So YF which is equal to YB plus or minus 2. Since it is a retrogressive winding, so consider positive sign in this equation. So YB 7 plus 2 which is equal to 9. Next the third step, number of commutator segments is equal to number of coils which is equal to 15. Already it has been given in the data. So number of pressures is equal to number of poles 4. Brush width is equal to one segment width because it is a simplex winding. So now let us go for the sixth step that is winding table. So YB is equal to 7, YF is equal to 9. So starting from the first conductor, so 1 which will be connected to YB, YB value is 7. So 1 plus 7 will be connected to 8. Next front pitch, so 8 will be connected to 29. That means front pitch is 9. Front pitch value is 9. So 8 minus 9 is minus 1. So minus 1, 30 is the total number of conductors. So 30 minus 1 is 29. Next 29 connected to back pitch 7, 36. So it is exceeding 6 conductors. So represent 6. Again 6 minus 9 is minus 3. So minus 3 with respect to 30 conductors. 30 minus 3 is 27. So like that just represent the winding table until one repeats so once one repeats so stop at that stage so that completes our winding table so now let us go for connecting the diagram so while coming to the diagram so we can see the diagram which has been represented here for 30 conductors just go for rotate so as per the winding table, so 1 is connected to 8 and 8 is connected to 29. So instead of connecting to 29, so better at the front pitch, so connect 1 and 10. So connect 1 and 10. So as per the winding table, so 1 is connected to 10. So just uh, this will be done only for the retrogressive winding because I cannot take 45 degrees exactly at this 29th conductor. So that's why instead of considering 8 and 29, I'll consider 1 and 10. So now let us go for the winding diagram by using AutoCAD. So just open the AutoCAD tool. So set the initial settings. So first go for typing units, type units, enter. So insertion scale always winding I'll consider it as centimeters say ok next limits enter so lower left corner 0 comma 0 always and upper right corner so it can be 500 comma 500 or 1000 comma 1000 so as you set the scale so I'll go for 500 comma 500 enter next zoom enter a enter so now draw a conductor which is having a length you can go for 100 centimeters or 50 centimeters see the length or without any dimension just to draw line so to come out of the command just to type enter now 30 conductor has been represented so i have to go for representing the 30 conductor so to represent 30 conductors so we'll go for array type array so in 2010 so if you type array automatically you will be getting this window window will be displayed 
suppose if you are going for AutoCAD 2015, so you have to go for Array Classic. So if I go for Array Classic, the window will be displayed. So here number of rows 1, consider total number of conductors, columns will be total number of conductors 30. And next column offset, that is distance between the two conductors. So just I will consider it as 20. Now go for selecting the line, go for select object, select this line, enter, say ok. So 30 conductor has been represented. So now since it is a double layer winding, so one coil will be the top and second coil will be the bottom coil. So similarly one top coil, one bottom coil. So to represent the bottom coils, we have to represent the even conductors with dotted lines. So here go for by layer, go for others go for load consider iso dash space select this and say ok and say ok so now you select all the even conductors so select all even conductors so after selecting all the even conductors so go for by layer so after selecting this, so go for by layer where we have considered the dotted line. So there you select the dotted line and enter. So now we are getting the dotted line. So in few cases, the dotted line will not be appearing. So why? Because so here I'll again I'll go for by layer. I'll go for others. So here the global scale factor. So it will be not in the proper value. Suppose if I go for 10, say OK. See, I cannot uh, see any of the dotted lines. So that's why you can change that global scale factor. So later, again I'll go for others. So here I'll change the value. So now the imaginary, that is a second bottom line, has been displayed. So now number the conductors so only number the even conductors why because we are having this space here so at the bottom side we can number the conductors so how to number the conductors so type m text and enter so now it is asking specify the first corner i'll specify the first corner here and again it is asking specify the opposite corner somewhere here i'll enter for the second corner now the window will be displayed like this so just to enter the number that is even number 2 and now represent go for a proper scale i'll go for 10 and say okay only one number has to be entered why because the scale can be easily arranged up to the required extent so to come out so double click on this So just to increase the okay. so double click on this so just to increase the scale up to the required point so now number the conductors four six eight ten twelve 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30 conductors. Say so, okay. So now, as per the winding table, so one is connected to eight. So go for a line. So take the base point or the first point at first conductor and connect to the eighth conductor. So switch on the ortho, connect to eighth conductor. So to come out of the command, so enter. Now go for rotate. So it is asking select the object. So select this line, enter. Now it is asking base point, consider the base point at the first conductor top. Now it is asking specify the rotation angle. So specify the rotation angle as 45 degrees. 
So please see that this corner has to be connected properly or else so delete this so better go for line select 1 and 8 enter go for rotate select the object enter select the base point now go for typing angle as 45 degrees line select the line so one is connected to eight enter go for rotate select the object enter select the base point at one type 45 degrees next go for again line so connect one to eight enter go for rotate select the object enter select the base point at the eighth conductor and type minus 45 enter so now this is the unknown portion go for trim command right click so trim the unwanted portion come out of the command so now go for select this go for by layer select the dotted line so can go for selecting the dotted lines so now go for again array so if you see the solid line has to be connected to solid line okay so now with respect to this so many solid lines are there 15 solid lines are there so go for array or array classic enter so now columns will be 15 now distance between first connector and second connector is 20 but from solid to solid line it now it will be 20 plus 20 it will be 40 so change the column offset as 40. Now select the object, select this, enter and say OK. Now since if you see the three end connectors has not connected towards the left side. So go for copy, so select these two, enter, go for copy, select these two conductors, enter take this as the base point it will show you specify the base point so consider this as the base point just move towards left and just to click on the conductors that is the end conductors so just to come out enter now similarly as per the winding table one is connected to 10 so we go for line so one connect to then enter to come out of the command go for rotate select this line enter specify the base point specify the base point at the first bottom so type rotation angle as minus 45 now again go for line connect 1 and 10 come out of the command enter go for rotate select this line enter select the base point at 10 type 45 enter now go for trim command right click so trim the unwanted portion come out of the command so now this is the dotted line select this go for by layer select the dotted line enter so now again there are 15 conductors go for array or array classic enter so 15 column offset 40 select so select these two lines enter say ok so now if you see one two three four conductor has been left out now go for copy so select the top as well as bottom conductor enter select the base point so select this as the base point just connect the end conductors enter 
So now how to number the end conductors. So if I see the winding table, so this is the end conductor which is connected to 25. So this is the back pitch connection. So 25 is connected to 2 as per the winding table. Similarly 27 is connected to 4 and 29 is connected to 6. So if I go for winding table, so here, so 25 is connected to 2. So just I will go for winding table. So look here. So 25 here. So it is connected to back pitch. So it is 2. So similarly 27 is connected to 4. 29 is connected to 6. So represent the end conductors number. So just go for control C. Control V already. The numbering is there. So this is 2, 4, 6. So double click. So delete the rest of the other conductor names. Numbers. So again go for control C. Control V. So here the number has to be changed. So 2 is connected to 25. Next. Connected to 27. Next. Connected to 29. So similarly at the front pitch so this is going to two four six and eight so here again it will be twenty three 23, 25, 27, and 29. So just if I go for the winding table, front page. So 2 is connected to 23. So go for winding table. So 2, this is the front page connection that is cross. 2 is connected to 23. 25 is connected to 4. 27 is connected to 6. 29 is connected to 8. So that's what we have represented the end conductor numbers. So now to draw the commutator segments, so just extend a small line from the end connection to some distance. There is no dimension. So enter. So now, so 15 plus 4 end connections are there. Totally 19 columns has to be represented. So go for array, enter. So column offset will be 40. So here column should be 19. So select this line, enter and say OK. So now so these are the end connections. So while representing the commutator segment, so while cutting and opening, so 50% that segment will be towards right and towards left. So extend the line with respect to the distance between the two conductors that is 20 extend 20 centimeters towards right come out of the command enter next extend a line go for 20 enter so come out of the command enter so now just draw a line to some distance from this corner come out of the command enter now so 19 plus 1 it will be 20 lines it has to be drawn here go for array enter say 20 select this line enter say ok so now close the bottom draw line at the bottom so now number the commutator segments so these are the number of commutator segments so how to number the commutator segment check where is the first conductor which has been represented to which segment so this is the first conductor so if i see it has been represented to this segment so this will be a first commutator segment so just i'll go for numbers so control c control v so this is the first conductor so here it has to be represented so this will be a first commutator segment so 1, so this will be 2, so next 3, 4, 
if this would be five, six, next to seven, this will be eight, next this will be nine, ten, this will be eleven, twelve, this is thirteen, fourteen, and last this will be fifteen. So delete the rest of the numbers. So fifteen commutator segments has been represented. So now how to number the these segments, commutator segments. So if I see here, this is twenty-three. Twenty-three is connected to two. So here two is connected to twenty-three. So check which is the segment. So that is twelfth segment. So just represent the segment as twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So this is twelve. So this is thirteen, fourteen. This is fifteen. So once again, I'll repeat. So twenty-three is connected to two. Twenty-five is connected to four. Twenty-seven is connected to six. Twenty-nine is connected to eight. So check here. Two is connected to twenty-three. So twenty-three is connected to two. There is segment number is twelve. Similarly, twenty-five is connected to four. Segment number is thirteen. Twenty-seven is connected to six. Segment number is fourteen. Twenty-nine is connected to eight. Segment number fifteen. So represent the segments name. So now let us go for calculating the poles. So follow the procedure what I have given in the previous numerical. So what is tau? So tau is equal to z by p plus or minus sorry z by p into distance between the two conductors. Right. So As per the pole calculation, so I'll go for the calculator. So Z total number of conductors are thirty divided by total number of poles four equals it is seven point five. Into distance between the two conductors. So distance between the top conductor and the bottom conductor. That is, we are considered as twenty. That is, column offset as twenty. So into twenty. So total pole pitch value is fifty. So pole arc is equal to point seven times pole pitch. Okay. That is, total pole will be equal to point seven times pole pitch. So point seven into pole pitch is one fifty. So into point seven enter. So now total pole length will be equal to one not five. So at the starting from the first conductor to pole R, it is point one five times tau. So point zero point one five into tau value is one fifty. So at the starting, the distance is twenty-two point five. So keeping this in mind, just I'll go for drawing the pole. So go for line. Select the midpoint of the first conductor. Just you extend the line towards right. Just move the mouse. Now it is asking specify the next point. So I know the value as the distance. So that is twenty-two point. Five. So represent the twenty. Now type twenty-two point five. Enter. So now it will end at that value. So come out of the command. So you can zoom in. So this is the distance from one conductor to the pole point. Now what is the pole we have calculated? Pole arc. So pole arc is or not? Five is the value. So go for a tangle. Now it is asking specify the first corner. Just I'll specify the first corner. Just I'll click there. Okay. Now you can see here 
specify the other corner point so i know the dimension so just you can type the dimension so type d enter now it will ask the dimension value so what is the dimension to be connected so if i go for the dimension so i pause supply okay so i'll go for the dimension specify the length for rectangle so rectangle i know the length so just i'll specify the length as 105 enter so now it is asking specify the width for rectangle so you can specify the width as any dimension just i'll go for 30 so here there is no exact calculated value i just i'll go for 30 so you'll be getting the pole here or you can increase the width also no problem so this is the pole which has been calculated as per the dimension so now you can go for move command select the object select the pole enter so select the base point it is asking specify the base point i select this as the base point just i'll move so switch off the auto zoom in just you connected this corner exactly so now you delete this line now one pole is been fixed so how many poles are there four poles are there so now i'll go for array enter so number of columns will be four poles and column offset whatever the value of tau we have calculated that is pole pitch so pole pitch was 150 so go for column offset as 150 now select the pole select the object select the pole enter say ok so four poles has been connected so number the poles so already text is there you can go for control c control v so somewhere here you represent so here i'll represent this as north pole next south pole next again north pole next south pole say ok so since it is coming on the conductor just i'll move a little bit so now four poles has been connected so now let us go for considering the direction of rotation so direction of rotation so I'll consider the generator. So to go for direction of rotation for the generator, so it is from its right hand rule. So go for polyline. So select one point. So it is asking specify start point or specify the start point here. Just I'll extend, switch on the ortho, extend, click one more point here. Now I need the arrow. So go for width. So here in the command space, if you see here, specify next point in bracket, arc, close, half width, length, undo, width is there. So go for width. So type W, enter, specify the starting width as 15, enter, specify the end width as 0, enter. Now we will get the arrow. So just you move the mouse towards left and click here. So this is and come out of the command, enter. So now direction of induced EMF. So considering it as generator. So just go for text. Control C, Control V. So type the text here. Direction of rotation. Direction of rotation of of induced EMF. So for generator. Okay, 
So now we are considering the direction of rotation of induced EMF for generator in this direction. So under north pole it will be downward direction, under south pole it will be upward direction. So go for again polyline, just to click here. Now I need the width of, to draw the arrow, I need the width, type W, enter. So I will go for 10 as the starting width and 0 as the ending width and now move the mouse. So this is the enter. So similarly, if you rotate this, I can go for the other direction. So now go for copy, select this, enter, select the base point, the edge, switch off the ortho, zoom in, just click on the lines so that the direction of induced DMF can be represented. So only within the pole, we have to show the direction. So interpole, it can be any direction. So now go for rotate. Rotate this arrow 90 degrees. Now go for copy. Select this, enter. Select the base point. Zoom in. show the direction of rotation sorry uh, emf induced as upward direction come out of the command so now next to draw the brushes so to draw the brushes so go for line select the midpoint of the pole so this is the midpoint of the pole so from here click point draw line up to the commutator segment below or up to the commutator segment next enter now what is the width of the segment so it is 40 so this width of the one segment is 40 so go for line so from this point extend 20 centimeters towards right type 20 enter come out again type 20 and come out so now join a line which touches the segment now we can delete this central line so now how many brushes are there four brushes are there go for array enter so again columns will be four column offset is 150 select the object that is select the brush enter say ok so automatically it occupies its position so now how to name the brush polarities so uh, as i told so positive brush polarity under north pole for progressive lap and retrogressive wave since it is a retrogressive lap so under north pole it will be having negative direction so just I'll go for texting so under north pole it is negative next under south pole it will be positive north pole negative south pole it is positive So if you want, you can increase the size. okay so now if we want we can name the brushes so say this has brush a next name this as brush b 
name this one as brush C next to D. Okay. So now we can segregate positive and negative brushes. So here I can go for a jump. A button command, right click. So stating this as negative and this as positive. So negative brush polarity. This as positive brush polarity. Okay, so this completes uh, 70 80 percent of the diagram. So now we have to go for representing the sequence diagram. So to represent the sequence diagram, just move the diagram a bit above, go for more commands, select this, enter, go for more command. So like this, enter, maybe. Now for more command, select, enter, select base point somewhere here, and move the overall diagram a bit above. So now I can get the space at the bottom to draw the sequence diagram. So to draw the sequence diagram, so how many conductors are there? 30 conductors. So one is repeated twice as per the winding table, the sequence diagram will be drawn. So go for line of some distance, enter, go for array or array classic, enter. So number of columns will be 31. Since one is repeating twice distance between the conductors is 20 select the object enter say ok so now just close both at the top as well as the bottom ends go for line just you close this so now go for trim command right click so one is connected to back pitch okay so turn this position so one is connected to eight so eight is connected to 29 so trim at the top so alternatively is to trim the buffer lines So just trim both front as well as the back pitch points. Next, after trimming, come out of the command. So number the sequence 
as per the winding table. So if I go for numbering the sequence, just I'll uh, copy the text, just I'll represent or paste it somewhere here. So if I go for odd numbers, next I'll go for even numbers. So again go for control C, control V. So exactly I'll place somewhere here. So now this is the first conductor. So next after that, so we'll be getting 29 29 next 27 next 25 next 20 3 next 21 next 19 next 17 next 15 next 13 next 11 Next nine, next seven, next five, next three, next one. I'll read the other numbers. So 1, 29, 27, 25, 23, 21, 19, 17, 15, 13, 11, 9, 7, 5, Three. So this time arranging exactly. So now I'll go for even numbers. So this will be eight as per the table, winding table. So eight it will be decreasing six four. Two next thirty twenty eight twenty six twenty four twenty two twenty eighteen sixteen 14, 12, 10. So, okay. so now if I go for the brush polarities in sequence diagram, so here is the brush, this is the connector which is coming in contact to this brush, so that is 1 and 10, so 10 is having upward direction. So represent one also as upward direction or we can go for 10 as upward direction so go for sequence so copy the arrow so 10 is having upward direction so switch off the auto this is the tenth conductor, so show it as upward direction. Enter. Okay. Next.
will come to the positive brush polarity so this is the conductor which is in contact with this brush so that is 6 7th conductor is downward direction and 16 is having upward direction so just to show 7 as the downward direction so go for copy so select the center this point so check where is the 7th conductor so 7th is this conductor so this is downward direction next similarly I'll go for another brush so this is the conductor which is coming in contact with this brush so this is this doesn't have any direction here so I'll go for even this doesn't have any direction since it is an interpole and it is a negative brush polarity I'll go for upward direction so 24 and 14 or 15 so 15 I'll go for upward direction so go for copy next similarly here this is the brush polarity so 23 and 2 so 2 since it is near to the north pole it is downward direction so I'll go for downward direction either go for copy enter 2 or 23 so you can see where is 2 so here is 2 or 23 okay so now we have represented the direction in the sequence so now let us go for alternative direction so since this is downward direction here it has to show upward direction okay so I'll go for copy for upward direction enter click here since it is down so here it is upward direction so down up down up down up so one is having upward direction so I represent here also one as upward direction so go for copy select this show this as upward direction since both are upward direction the brush polarity will be negative so 1 and 10 where it is connected so for which brush enter so you can see the first conductor and 10th conductor so 1 and 10 it is connected to brush A so you can represent that as brush A negative so delete this so okay so now since this is upward direction so next it will be downward direction so go for copy select this enter so down this will be up this will be down this will be up this is down so since this is up so here it will be down next this is up down up down so this is up this will be down so now since these two are having same direction so here the brush polarity comes into consideration so 7 and 16 so 7 and 16 if you see where it is connected so this is 7 and this is 16 connected to brush b so it is positive brush polarity
next similarly i'll go for the other lines so since it is up okay we'll go for copy we'll go for first conductor enter so this is up so this must be down row sorry go for escape so enter go for copy go for down enter select this so this will be up down up down up down since it is up so here it will be down up down up down up down up down let's go for copy consider the upward direction enter goes up something i have made a mistake so i'll come up to this stage once again i'll repeat so i'll go for control z okay so here it is a positive brush polarity remove this this is the positive brush b delete this so okay so next brush polarity it must be the other conductor so that is 2123 i think it is positive brush so 2123 it is positive brush polarity so 23 will be down and two second conductor will be down so two is down so go for copy 23 also down so next this is up down up down up this should be down and this is up this is down this is up down okay so come out since both are having downward direction so it is positive brush control c control v this is the positive brush d say okay draw line Next, go for alternate connection. That is, go for copy upward. Since this is down, I'll go for the next conductor must be up. Go for upward. Enter. Go for copy. Select this. Enter. Select the base point. Switch of the ortho. Since this is down, this will be up, down. This is up. Next, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. This will be up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So now if you see 15 and 24 both are having upward direction so this will be having 
15 and 24 downward direction so represent the brush as C negative brush polarity Say okay so now if you see 24 and 15 both it will be having interpol 15 and this is 15 so it is connected to brush c and 24 it is interpol so it will can be any direction so now which is left out to go for this is up go for copy downward direction enter select this down up down up done so now the sequence has been done so that's how the sequence diagram will be represented so this completes your uh, retrogressive wave winding so finally you have to see that one will have the same direction so if here it is upward direction here also must be upward if it is down so it must be down here so it cannot be different direction in the same conductor so that's how your uh, diagram will be done so this completes your retrogressive winding so next class let us go for wave winding thank you